Infosys has announced the 13,000 crore buyback at a price of 11.50 per share. Now, if you assume this scenario, uh, retail investors have slightly more to gain uh, given the fact that the SEBI rule mandates uh, you know, companies uh, doing buyback to set aside a 15% quota for the retail investors and retail investors are defined as investors holding shares worth 2 lakh rupees or less on the cutoff date or the record date. Now, uh, we have assumed a scenario to de derive the entitlement ratio in case of this Infosys mega buyback. Uh, assuming a price of 1000 rupees on the cutoff date, uh, the amount of buyback comes to around 1950 for the retail quota, which means that close to 1.95 crore shares are under the retail quota. Now, uh, if you look at the annual report, uh, which has a uh, investor base having shares less than 200 uh, are close to 2.87 according to the company's annual report of course. Uh, now if you divide uh, the entitlement or in the retail quota which is 1.95 crore shares by the retail investor base which has shares of 200 or less is close to 2.87 crore shares and when you divide these two numbers you will get the entitlement ratio of 68 percent. Now it is more important to note that the entitlement ratio is a function of the price on the record date and more importantly the base of retail investors both are subject to changes probably as we near the buyback. Uh, the retail investors base would increase and the price of course will change from the current price. Uh, so the entitlement ratio changes but if you assume this scenario probably the entitlement ratio uh, could be 68 percent. Of course do not confuse yourself between entitlement ratio and acceptance ratio because not all investors tendered into the offer in which case uh, the acceptance ratio could be slightly higher than the entitlement ratio.